Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be talking about a real time saving tool. This is a laser distance measure from Bosch. This one also includes integrated electronic level. These, these lasers are really, really good for, say, the DIYer who is trying to uh, quickly determine uh, square footage for a floor, say you want to put down a wood floor, also for the professional alike. In fact, for people that are going out and doing job estimations, uh, these are really excellent because it kind of eliminates that second person you need to hold the end of a tape measure, makes for doing uh, quick calculations very, very easy. And some of these come with a lot of different functions where you can go from from um, millimeter, or excuse me, from centimeters to meters. You can do uh, feet in decimal points. You can do feet uh, feet and inches, or you can do just straight inches. Uh, allows you to do square footage, cubic footage. A lot of different things that you can do with these lasers and really make you a lot more efficient at what you're doing. Now, my particular model is the Bosch Blaze GLM 42. This one has actually been discontinued. They've upgraded this one uh, to a 165 foot model. My particular model ranges to 135 feet. The new GLM, I think it's 50C if I'm not mistaken, will do up to 165 feet. Now you can get these from ranges from about 65 feet all the way up to the really professional outdoor series that'll go up to about 400 feet and those are going to be around in the 250 dollar range but most of these really decent ones that that the average person would probably find the most use out of you're going to be able to get for underneath a hundred dollars let's take a look at my bosch professional glm 42 show you some of the features now, not all those models are going to have all these features, and then there's going to be some that's going to have some additional features on top of that. And one of the great features that I like about these Blaze models, and not all of them come with this feature, but I, I like the fact that it has that integrated level in there because it, it kind of really expands the usability of this particular laser. So you can see here on the side, my workbench is actually sitting on 0.1 degrees within level, and then if we rotate it, you can see how that level will move and let you know where where your level is at. So that's very nice. Another feature with these, and you can actually turn this one off too, is that as you rotate it, the display rotates with you. And so now if we set it here, now I'm reading the level in this direction instead of like this, which is actually a very nice feature as well. So if we rotate that around, no matter what direction we're in, you can see that the display will follow you around. That's, that's one feature that I do like about this Blaze model. Now, some of the other functionality to this, if we get in, we hit the function button. So we have what's called uh, real time. Now it's gonna give you real time measurements as, as you move back and forth. It's gonna constantly tell you what your distance is. So if we set that in there, and we're just gonna measure to the back wall of my workbench, and we get it started with hitting the measure button. Now we're sitting at two foot two inches, but as we move it, you'll see that it'll change dimensions. So it's getting real-time measurements. So this is really great if you are trying to measure off of a wall uh, to a certain distance or a dedicated distance. So if I want to be uh, exactly two foot two and three sixteenths off a wall, I'll just back it up. Once I have it set to two foot two and three sixteenths, now I can come to the back of it and I can mark it off. Also with this particular one, you can change where it reads the measurement from. You can change it, and that's on the display up here at the top. You can see that we're reading from the back of the unit. But you can change that to read from the front of the unit, you can change it to read from the center, or you can change it to read from the back in the function, uh, in the function tab. So if we go into it, you have your real-time measurement, and then you have an area. Area is really great. This is one of those uh, functions if you're trying to estimate square footage of a floor or something that you want to, uh, maybe you want to put wood floor or tile down and you're trying to get the, the right amount of, of uh, material. So if we go in here, now it's going to give us two different measurements, length and width. So if we hit the measure button to get it started, now our first measurement is two foot two and three thirty seconds. We back it up and just take another measurement. It's going to read the second measurement and then it's going to automatically calculate the square footage for us which is actually a very nice feature. It's a really time-saving feature. So if we go back in, you can also do cubic feet. You can also do indirect measurements, and then you can do just standard length. Now, length is basically the same as the real time, except it's not gonna give you the real time measure. It's just gonna give you whenever you hit the measure button. So I like to have it on the real time function. 
Now, if we hold into the function button, now we can go into some other settings. So you can switch between uh, your SAE and metric uh, settings here. So if we go into it, I have mine set up on feet and inches at 132nd intervals. You can switch it to go into meters, into centimeters, into decimal feet, or into just regular inches at 132nd intervals as well. I like to keep mine on, on uh, feet and inches though. And so if we, let me, I'll tell you what, let me get back out of, I'm in area right now, I wanna be an in indirect. So if we tap back into that function button, we'll hold down. You can also turn the sound on or off. You, this is the rotation for the screen, so you can turn that on or off. And this is your level, so you can turn your level on and off as well. Now, some additional functionality that my unit comes with, we talked about that screen rotation. That's handled right here. So you can set it so you can read from the back of the unit. You can read from the front of the unit or you can read from the center and all you got to do is just toggle through them to figure out which one you want. I like to have mine so that you just reading from the back. Also, this particular one has a save function. So if I take a measurement uh, and set that measurement in, now I can save that and that's going to be in, in spot nine. So as you're going through and taking different measurements, it will it will uh, save the measurements that you take and then you can also clear out all of those and just trash them as you're going. This is uh, the square footage that we calculated earlier. So uh, it's very nice that it has a save functionality on it as well. Now there's gonna be other models that are gonna have uh, Bluetooth capability. So that some of the, some of the more higher priced uh, versions are gonna have a Bluetooth button. The Bluetooth allows you to, to transfer those numbers to your phone. So if you want to put it in like a picture, you can actually detail out exactly what wall was what measurement. Uh, it's, it's actually a really cool functionality. It's not something that I necessarily need, so I didn't get one of those higher grade models, but there are some models that come with some Bluetooth capability as well. Now power on my particular unit is gonna be supplied by a couple of AA batteries that are, or AAA batteries, I'm sorry, that are very easy to get to. And some of the models now have uh, rechargeable lithium ion batteries, which is actually a really nice feature. Now they're also gonna come with uh, a sheath, a, a belt sheath as well. I will say that the belt sheath on this one is not the greatest in the world. I wish it was a little bit longer. They have a little Velcro strip here that you can attach it to and quickly remove it, but it does house very nicely in there. Some of the other models have better belt sheaths, but I like the functionality of this Bosch Blaze because like the one that I use for my job estimations is Hilti. Uh, it's a little bit more premium, but it doesn't have the same functionality. Of course, it has better range to it, but I really like the belt sheath on this one too. So for what I do, I, I get better use out of the Hilti and, and I've tested them against one another up to that 135 foot range and they're just right on. They say it's plus or minus 1 16th when it comes to the Bosch and I found it to be even tighter than that. Uh, 132nd or even less than that. So they're pretty well right on. Uh, some of the names that I trust when it comes to these laser measuring devices are gonna be Bosch, Hilti, of course. Uh, Leica makes some really good ones. And then Craftsman, like I said, is is kind of a lower tier, but they're actually not bad. So for the, for the, for the uh, DIY guy or for the homeowner, I'd probably say that a Craftsman or a Bosch would be the way to go. If you are a professional, uh, some of the upper tier Bosch models are really good. Hilti and Leica are also really good. Now there's a number of others, including even Amazon has their own brand, Tac Life. But the thing of it is, if you got a laser measure that says it'll read 200 feet and it costs $19.99, odds are it's not going to be that great. So I would stick with the more with with the more recognized brands they're going to, you know, they're just going to be higher quality in the end. This is the Bosch Professional uh, GLM42, one of the Blaze models. Again, this model is discontinued, but I'll put in some links to some of their other models and they'll range from about 65 feet up to 400 feet with price ranges ranging from about $30 to $250, depending on what you need. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one.